Jack is five times as old as Bill. Ten years from now, Jack will be at least three times as old as Bill will be then. At least how old is Jack now? So to solve this, we need to make two separate variables. One we can call J for Jack's age, and the other we can call B for Bill's age. And from this first line, Jack is five times as old as Bill. So we can write that, that Jack is five times Bill. And from the second line, 10 years from now, Jack will be at least three times as old as Bill will be then. So in 10 years, so we can say Jack plus 10 is equal to three times Bill's age in 10 years. So we can say three times Bill plus 10. And the key word here is at least. So this is really an inequality. So we have greater than or equal to. And the question asks, at least how old is Jack now? So we're trying to find out Jack's age. So what we can do to eliminate the variable b from this is to solve this first equation for b. So from the first equation, if we divide each side by 5, we have that b is equal to j over 5. Now we can just substitute this in here. So the equation becomes j plus 10 is greater than or equal to 3 times j over 5 plus 10. And now distributing the 3 to each of these, we have 3j over 5 plus 30. And the left hand side is still j plus 10. And then to eliminate this 5 in the denominator, we can just multiply everything by 5. So the left hand side becomes 5j plus 50 is greater than or equal to 5 multiplied into this 3j over 5. Two 5s will cancel and we're left with just 3j plus 5 times 30 is 150. Now putting all the j's on one side, we can subtract 3j from each side of the equation. We're left with 2j plus 50 is greater than or equal to 150. And then getting the j's by themselves, we can subtract 50 from each side so that we have 2j is greater than or equal to 100. And then dividing everything by 2, we have that j is greater than or equal to 50. So in other words, Jack is at least 50 years old now.